Well, hey everybody, it's Paul. Welcome to my basement. Today we're filming from the basement, my little corner nook workshop that I have in the cold part of the basement. The reason why is I'm working on my laptop. I'm going to put in some memory and I don't have one of those wristband things that you can discharge uh, any static with. But what I do have is right here, conveniently, you've got the water pipe um, pipes that are grounded. So they will work nice to uh, make sure I don't build up, especially in the winter time, you can build up static real easy. So I'm not a master of changing memory. So this is the first time I've ever done it on a laptop. I've done it on um, PCs before, you know, desktops. But uh, so this is the first time for a laptop. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. Shouldn't be too hard. But, you know, changing memories, one of those things for a little bit of money, you can really um, get a lot of performance out of it. I got into uh, making music with FL Studio, and as you add more and more instruments, and then you're like making songs, and they're more and more complex, and it just eats the RAM up like nothing. So I've got a, a HP Envy 17-inch uh, touchscreen with 8 gigs of RAM that I am going to hopefully upgrade to 8 more additional so I'll have 16, so that should make um, using the computer with all that software a little bit smoother, hopefully. So sorry about all the noise, my neighbor. They're leaf blowing over at the neighbors. So first thing you want to do is you want to turn off your computer, shut it all the way down, and get the battery out of it, which this sucker pops right out and set it aside. Okay, so now for this, it's very easy. There's actually only one screw in the battery compartment that I need to deal with. And it stays right in there. It loosens out. And it feels like you're going to break it. But you're not. I've already done this to see what battery I needed, which is a good idea. See, it sounds like uh, it's pretty loud, right? When it snaps out. So, you know, periodically make sure you do discharge. So here's my memory. And this is where it goes. You have two little things that uh, clips that you kind of spread out and it slides right in there. So. so here is the memory. And you'll see it's on an angle where it feeds in. Like, so it kind of slips right in easy. And it's, uh, and it's tilted up though. So what you have to do is spread those things so it, it seats properly. So that's why I got my little knife thingy. And I'm going to spread that one. And spread that one. And it fits right in. There's two like little indents that uh, close in on there. On each side of the, the board. So okay that was like a a quick job let's put it back together and see if it worked now this is really fun putting this back together because you will think you are breaking it every time it snaps like crazy it takes a little bit of pushing the first time you do it you think oh boy there we go. Now just tighten down that screw. All right. We'll pop the battery in and see what happens. <laughs> now the now they're done with the leaf blowing. That's the story of my life here. I'll tell you, very honestly. There we go. Battery is snapped in. So that's not too bad. You can use your HP um, support assistant. And just go to you know your notebook, and you can see right there 16 gigs. So, on the first tray, there's eight, second tray, there's eight. So, okay, guys, welcome to the desktop. Here, you can see I use a lot of RAM for that program. I am geeked though, I'm really excited because it is running the program that it used to stumble over. And so right here you can see there's 16 gigs of memory. And here you will see I've got a bunch being used right here by FL Studio. 
<laughs> That's why my eight gigs wasn't cutting it. I mean, it was six U's just sitting there. So this is the culprit. This is the program, and it uses a lot. See, it goes, it cut right through everything just perfect. So it's like, because um, I was looking, I'm like, okay, I've got eight gigs. I've got, um, not the latest laptop, but still an i5, um, Intel i5. So it's like, do I want to spend a bunch of money getting a new laptop or getting a, uh, you know, desktop and then putting RAM in that? Or I always thought, oh, you know, a laptop, you can't, that, that's super hard. You can't just put RAM in it. I started thinking, is that right? So I watched some videos. I'm like, hey, that don't look too hard. I can do, let me see. So I took the back off and, um, right there you can see um get all the information off the existing memory there you want it to match up and i'll put a link for the memory that i used but yeah it is not difficult at all i wish i'd done it a long time ago but anyways um you know if you're having your stuff bogged down and you're seeing it's a, a memory issue and not a cpu issue for sure i mean I think it was like 35, 40 bucks, something like that, uh, for eight gigs more of uh, RAM. And I went, uh, not sponsored, but I went with Crucial. They were real easy um, to match up. It had Kingston in it. And just going to the Kingston site, I couldn't get like any info. I was trying to match it up. I was typing in the model number and everything. It was difficult. Um, so anyways, I went with Crucial and, um, you know, I typed in the model of my thing and it said it was 100% guaranteed to to work with. And it did fine. Very easy to do. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for your time and um, good luck if you do a memory thing. <laughs>